today we are making a video on fedora cinnamon linux uh, which is a 38 edition or a 38 version it is a desktop spin of a fedora so here you can see a boot menu uh, which is uh, start fedora cinnamon live 38 which is uh, the option to boot it in a live mode and these are other options like uh, test this media and fedora start fedora cinnamon live and this is troubleshooting so let's quickly boot it in a live mode uh, and uh, it should take like a maximum of uh, one minute or a minimum of 30 to 40 seconds and there is a tip from me because uh, uh, it's always to boot in a live boot uh, because uh, it will be easy and uh, uh, you can also find out the bugs in the live boot uh, if you uh, try to install it instead of uh, live boot it would be uh, some type of uh, problems in it because even it's a stable version you should be having some of the bugs sometimes so it's always better option or a better idea to boot it in a live boot first uh, for like uh, seven to eight hours use it like a uh, seven to eight hours in a live boot and after you satisfied without any bugs like you don't encounter any bugs uh, go with the installation so that's a tip from me because i don't want you to ruin your pc so it's always a better option to boot it in a live boot and i forgot to mention that i'm running it on a, a virtualization which is a vmware with 80 gb of hard disk 4 gb of ram and with two processors so it should take like a few more seconds and we should be having our desktop layout completely loaded and i forgot to mention that i will be posting two videos daily without missing any day so i already posted a content uh, if you want to watch that content watch this video and uh, watch that later so here you can see a mouse pointer uh, and you, you should be seeing a mouse pointer with a highlighter uh, that's the sound of the linux distro so you should be seeing a mouse pointer with a highlighted uh, this uh, color uh, because i set it i set that thing in a uh, recording so this is a desktop layout uh, and a welcome screen as you can see so let me change the resolution uh, i'm using a vmware so it automatically changes the resolution you need to change on your own by going to uh, right clicking on mouse and you should be seeing a display setting here and you can change your display resolution uh, mine is 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio so uh, there is a tip again uh, if you can't see text size or a font or a icons uh, not properly you can change the monitor scale up to 125 to 150 percent the 1920 into 1080 uh, and the 125 percent to 150 percent is the best options uh, these are the best settings uh, i can give this as a tip so let me close this thing and uh, open the system monitor because we need to check the resources first uh, it's important because uh, you need to know how much resources are consumed before opening some of the apps and i'm going to show you the system monitor again at the end of the video so you should be having an idea or you can judge on your own to use this uh, linux distro or not so right now these are all the processes running right now so these are the resources so let me change the color first so you can see that properly uh, ignore the high peak in the beginning because it's uh, quite common in every linux distro you need to run like a uh, 60 seconds or a uh, one minute uh, the graph so you should be having an idea of uh, how much uh, there is a high peak or a low peak or the stable uh, graph so you should be uh, having an idea so right now it's almost a 1.2 gb of ram consuming uh, i didn't open any apps just the settings you know display settings that's it we didn't open anything so right now in the beginning it's a 1.2 gb of 4.1 gb which is almost a 30 percent or 29.5 percent and the cpu is going uh, very good right now it's almost like a 20 percent under 20 percent so let me run to until uh, one minute so you should be having or the you should be seeing a stable uh, graph here as you can see uh, if you uh, hear some background noises try to ignore that uh, because there is a construction going around my neighborhood and the kids are playing and uh, something is always going uh, near my neighborhood so ignore that sound so here is a graph of a stable as you can see there is a complete stable graph there is no high peaks like uh, 60 to 70 percent like that it's just going under like a uh, 20 percent uh, the cpu is pretty good and the ram is also good uh, it's a midweight uh, midweight or uh, near to the lightweight linux distro so it's clearly up to you to judge i'm going to open the system monitor again at the end of the video so you should be judging on your own
so ignore this network because uh, it's a network thing so you don't need to worry about the network you need to worry about the cpu and ram always so the system monitor version is a 44.0 so let me close the system monitor and open the terminal so we can get the complete distro information by typing this command about version is a 3.48.0 for gnome 44 and also i forgot to mention that uh, gnome 44.1 release is released uh, if you want to check that out you can check that out a point release has been released so let me type in the command which is uh, inxi-sv8 this is the command which will grab complete distro information so if you can't see you can change the uh, background of the terminal or the here let me change the color black and white should be good to see so on the system host is a local host live because uh, it's a uh, live mode and i didn't rename the uh, linux distro so the kernel is a 6.2.9-300 and it's a 64-bit architecture and you need to remember that uh, fedora only comes in a 64-bit architecture even it's a disturb spin or the uh, development uh, stable version you will still get the 64-bit uh, you don't get a 32-bit so remember that so desktop is a cinnamon desktop environment version is a 5.6.8 gtk version is a 3.24.37 and light dm version is a 1.32.0 and distro is a fedora release 38 even though it's a desktop spin you still get the uh, distro has a fedora release 38 so on the machine or the machine i'm running it on a vmware so it's going to say as a vmware and the bios phoenix version is a 6.00 and ram is almost a 1.17 gb of a 3.81 gb uh, which i already mentioned that i'm using a 4 gb ram for the vmware so these are the cpu information if you want to know my cpu information here is the cpu information so let's uh, scroll down and find some other information which is uh, uh, graphics vm wgfx version is a 2.20.0 so xorg version is a 1.20.14 or 14 you need to call it as a 14 after the point before the point uh, if you, if there is a point here so you need to say that as a 14 not 14 so that's a small tip or the uh, information and under the monitors you get uh, this much of uh, resolutions available for the fedora cinnamon desktop spin and api opengl version is a 4.1 mesa is a 23.0.1 and the pulse audio version is 16.1 pipefire version is a 0.3.67 so let's scroll it down completely and let's find out other information which is a process running right now are 314 and uptime is a 5 minutes we ran from almost a 5 minutes wake ups are 21 init system d version is a 253 and what else we left is a compiler gcc is not available right now and shell bash version is a 5.2.15 and inxi version is 3.3.25 let's type in the same command or the uh, different commands which will give the same information but in a short form let me type in that inxi is the command which will get the same information as the above but in a short form let's type in another command which is uh, inxi dash b same information again inxi dash capital g again same information let's type in other command which is a cat etc forum slash issue hit enter here is the information let me type in neofetch if it's uh, available or pre-installed neofetch is not installed you, you can install it uh, by typing sudo dnf install uh, neofetch so let's type in hstop if it's available hstop is also not available so you can uh, install it uh, by typing sudo dnf install hstop so let's uh, exit this thing first check the version we already showed the version so let me exit this thing so let's go to the uh, internet browser which is a uh, firefox and uh, let me show you the uh, official website of a desktop spins and uh, the downloading process and the default web browser for fedora and almost every linux distro will be firefox most of them linux distro will be having a firefox sometimes uh, chromium sometimes vld and microsoft edge sometimes even falcon so these are the options in the linux distro so let's first check the version of a firefox which should be like a triple one i guess it's a triple 1.0.1 which is a 64-bit architecture so let's type in the uh, system as a fedora 
38 desktop spins this is the search term you need to uh, type in in your web browser or the search engine I already made uh, every desktop spin so if you want you can check that out so let me scroll it down here is a cinnamon desktop click on the cinnamon desktop uh, here will be some description or information for the cinnamon desktop so click on download now and if you want you can read it click on download to download the ISO file and if you want to verify your download you can download and always remember what you're downloading uh, you need to check that its uh, ISO file is proper or not so I'm downloading Fedora 38 uh, cinnamon desktop let me click on download so it takes a few seconds and the download should be triggered so here is the download I'm using a VPN so it's a bit uh, slow for me it's almost 90% uh, slow for me and my internet speed is almost a 10 MB it's the average internet speed but good so it takes uh, this much of time so let me close this thing I showed the website I showed the downloading process let me show you the installation process uh, by opening the installer it's good it could take a few seconds like a 20 to 30 seconds uh, it's an anaconda installer so it should take a few seconds and we should be having our installer I'm not going to install it on the virtual machine or the hard drive I'm going to just going to show you the process of installation so it's a stable version uh, even the stable version you downloaded you need to be uh, careful uh, because there should be uh, having some bugs uh, not uh, guaranteedly but sometimes they should be having some bugs so it's always better to uh, boot it in a live boot I'm saying it again and again because uh, it's a better option to live boot first then go with the installation after you're satisfied without any bugs uh, run it for good like uh, three to four hours at least and go with the installation because I don't want you to ruin your PC so let's get back to the installation process uh, here is the installation process of a Fedora 38 cinnamon desktop spin first you need to choose your language and the basic thing is always uh, in every Linux distro is uh, this type of things there is no complicated things it will be very easy to install so first you need to choose your language there are plenty of languages available uh, here so as you can see you can choose your own language and set your uh, languages here I choose the English and the English United States click on continue it should uh, it should take like a few seconds and you need to complete all these steps and then you should be having a highlighted begin installation uh, button here so we choose the keyboard let's choose the installation destination I'm using a 80 GB of hard disk for my virtual machine so you need to choose your hard disk here uh, if you have multiple hard disk uh, you can choose on your own if you want to encrypt your data you can encrypt here by providing the password like you need to provide two passwords which should be same so after you choose click on done twice or done once and it should be uh, like this not like a red highlighted thing so if it like this it's uh, okay and it's completed completed uh, completed sorry for that I'm a bit of tired so I'm stuttering some somewhat so root account uh, if you want to enable root account you can uh, enable by providing the password for the sake of the video I'm choosing the simple password you need to give the best password and uh, please remember your password don't uh, forget uh, if you uh, try to forget it's a bit of pain there so it's better option to write it down in somewhere like a diary or something so it will be a good idea so click on done twice because we use the simple or a short password and time and date you need to choose your uh, location or time and date here you can choose by drop down menu like here or you can directly click on the map I'm choosing America and Los Angeles uh, you can uh, you don't need to provide the actual location like the actual location and time so you can give anything you want click on done and the network and host name if you want to provide the host name you can provide it click on done user creation means you need to provide your username password all these things you don't need to provide your actual name you can give anything uh, you want and remember the credentials so you don't forget uh, you need to remember or write it down the password and username it's a better option to write it down uh, instead of scratching for you scratching your head uh, after you forget so these are the things I choose I use the unboxing as and the password will be uh, 12345 again you need to click on done twice because we use the short password and as you can see here is a begin installation with a highlighted green color or a lemon green or a neon green you can call it anything so it is highlighted 
after clicking on begun installation it's going to install it so be careful while choosing all these things because it's going to erase and delete everything on your hard disk even the current operating system and it's going to install the uh, fedora linux cinnamon desktop edition so be careful while choosing the partitions or the installation destination uh, don't give the if you are running at on vmware so no need to worry if you are running on your main pc or work pc so it's going to delete your current operating system so be careful what you're doing here so you need to be having a sum of uh, idea here so this is the installation process uh, after clicking on begun installation it's going to take a maximum of uh, 20 minutes or uh, 5 to 10 minutes it completely depends on the linux distro and depends on the uh, pc hardware you have so if you have a mid-range pc it should be like a uh, 5 to 10 minutes uh, if you have a low-end PC, it's going to be like a 20 minutes uh, maximum, I guess. So you can't exactly say what time it takes. It depends on your completely on your PC. So that's the installation process. Let me exit this thing. So let's check out the desktop features, which is uh, here volume, uh, calendar and time, internet connection. This is the panel. You can add panel at the right, left, top, anywhere, and you can customize that. Let's open system settings and you can change your themes, uh, backgrounds. There are plenty of wallpapers available. Uh, it takes a lot of time to load up. So instead of waiting, let me change the color uh, which is available right here. So if you want, you can change it to anything and uh, you can customize this thing. It complete. It is completely on your the thing like uh, you can customize on your own. So I don't need to show everything. You already know this. You can add the themes, settings, all the things. So add and remove. You can add the themes and uh, all the things here. You can download things here. So these are the customizations available right here. Uh, these are some of the options. These are all already in the older version. So no need to worry. So let's go to the system information. It's a Federal Linux 38 Cinnamon. We already saw the every information in the command. Uh, which i already showed you in the previous uh, minute or uh, a few a few minutes back so these are some uh, some of the information in a short form so it says hard drive has a 134 point uh, 137.4 gb i'm just using a 80 gb i don't know where it comes uh, where it got from this like a 137 gb i don't know properly so maybe it should be a bug i don't know properly so if you know that you can comment down below so here is the mouse and touchpad you can customize on your own these are some of the information or the uh, available things to customize on your own so no need to show all these things because you already know everything here window tiling workspace all the things you can add your workspace all the things so let's uh, close this thing let's check out what are the available applications or uh, pre-installed applications available with the fedora cinnamon desktop spin so let's quickly scroll down and see what are the available applications there are plenty of applications these are all the common uh, cinnamon desktop spins applications no nothing from fedora linux so there is no need to uh, show uh, anything here so let's just open few of the apps like uh, imported apps we already saw the firefox version let's open the library office uh, because some people want to know some of the applications information so on the graphics you have a short well let's open the short well also on the internet we have like a thunderbird let's open thunderbird also so what else we have office we have opened library office sound and media rhythm box instead of uh, opening every app let's open the software manager if it's available system info here are some of the information administration So let's check the uh, library office version first which should be like a 7.5.2.2 as you can see here this is the latest version let's uh, close the uh, library office and let's check the thunderbird email client which is a 102.9.1 let's close that thing also firefox opened somehow uh, because of uh, i think uh, thunderbird so let's check out the version of the short well also it's a 0.31.7 so let's close this thing it's going to take a few seconds to open the manager here so what else we left is here uh, i think there is nothing i guess we covered everything 
here is a red shift preference there is nothing we already saw everything and the administration we don't have anything i'm going to show you the system monitor again uh, after uh, completing all these things let's open the rhythm box so it's going to take a few seconds again here is a red shift i guess so the rhythm box version should be a 3.4.6 let's close this thing and that's the sound of the uh, federal linux uh, which is a clicking sound of a mouse so let's check out the version of the file manager also we didn't see that it's a nemo 5.6.4 again it is taking a lot of time i think it's a waste of time to even wait for this so let's uh, quit this thing So for management nothing is happening so let's open the system monitor and uh, end the video force quit it let's go to the system monitor uh, which will be in the administration and open the system monitor at first it was like a 1.2 gb as you can remember and here you can see there is a high peak that's the common thing in the uh, linux distros so right now it's almost a 1.8 gb of uh, ram consuming before it was like a 1.2 gb i guess so i don't even properly remember i guess that's the ram usage so if you remember you can uh, uh, compare it on your own if you don't remember it just put my video side by side and just check out the ram usage and cpu and you should be having an exact uh, number of uh, cpu resources and ram resources consuming so you can uh, judge on your own uh, to use this linux distro or not right now it's almost a uh, 1.9 gb and uh, as you can see there is a high peak uh, in the cpu there is another not stable uh, graph going on here so it's clearly up to you to use this linux distro or not uh, if you if there are people like uh, using a 2 gb of ram for the linux distro so if you ask me is this linux distro good for the 2 gb ram uh, i'm going to say no because uh, it's almost a 1.9 gb already uh, even uh, if you have a 2 gb ram it should be having like a 1.8 gb 2 gb of ram should be like a 1.8 gb and it's almost a 1.9 gb so it's uh, a no from me and uh, it's uh, if you ask my opinion it's a uh, no because it's almost a 1.9 gb just opening a few apps like a two to three apps so if you still want to try it you can try it on a live boot first uh, don't try to install it on a uh, as soon as you download just boot it in a live boot after you satisfied if it doesn't lag or uh, if it, did, it didn't uh, freeze so you can use it uh, if it lags it's better option to go with the lightweight linux distros like uh, there are available other lightweight linux distro maybe fedora lxqt should be helping you so it's clearly up to you to judge uh, i said my opinion it's clearly up to you to use this linux distro or not or the desktop spin you you, you want to use it or not so that's the end of the video uh, I, uh, I will be posting two videos daily so if you want to check that out uh, you can check that out after watching this video the video is also available uh, so if you want to watch that you can check that out so let's end this video and uh, shut it down again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out